Louisiana's coast is disappearing at a rapid rate. We've lost 2,000 square miles of coast over the past 100 years. And researchers say we're at risk of losing double that in half the time. And with that in mind, what organization is using a unique idea to prevent land loss? So Paul Dudley now with your, how your oyster shells are being used to save a sinking state. In a body of water known as the Hackberry Bay, 25 miles by boat from Jean Lafitte in Lower Jefferson Parish, you will find this. Thousands of oyster shells being laid into the water. It's all a part of a large coastal restoration project nearing completion. Oyster reefs are one of the tools in the toolkit that we have to use for coastal restoration. The Coalition to Restore Coastal Louisiana is behind the project. The group says oyster reefs have a number of benefits. You could call the shells the building blocks of this ecosystem. It's helping to slow the erosion of our valuable coastline. And at the same time, it's also providing habitat. So the shells provide shoreline protection, but unlike just plain old rocks, the shells become part of the ecosystem, growing more oysters and attracting other wildlife. Oysters are a keystone ecosystem engineer, we call them, uh, because where you have these reefs, you have an abundance of life around them. What really makes this interesting is where all these shells come from. Each one of these oyster shells was once on someone's plate, and there are a lot of them, close to 1,200 baskets just like these. This oyster reef is about two-thirds of a mile long, and it's constructed entirely of oyster shells that have come from uh, New Orleans area restaurants. This latest oyster reef is one of three similar projects in the state. This group is hoping for a lot more in the future. We really want to encourage the adoption of these reefs to be used um, for coastal restoration just because of the many benefits that they have. A living shoreline bringing new life to Louisiana. Paul Dudley, Eyewitness News. Well, the project cost roughly $650,000 paid for by a grant support from the Louisiana Department of Fisheries, Shell, National Fish and Wildlife Foundation, and the Wildlife Conservation Society. Now, the project should be all wrapped up by Saturday.